Hey everybody, this is August the 25th, 2024. I, I, want, I got something I want to share with you guys today that Ken sent me, and it's about more gallons and dirt, like playing in the dirt. Um, and after you, after you see what he says, and after you see what came out of his body while he was digging around in the dirt, you might want to consider playing in the dirt more, okay? First, I want to show you. Um, I want to show you uh, some pictures that he sent me, um, and tell you a little bit about what they are. Now, this one, this was the first one that he sent, and this actually, to me, this looks like some of the biofilm or you know the um, smart skin. Uh, that's come out and it may have a little bit of blood and maybe some of the black goo stuff, you know, mixed in it. Um, uh, and then this one, this one right here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read to you a little bit about what he says about this one. Okay. The second picture shows a bug that came out and of my skin, okay. He calls this a bug, but actually, to me, it, and it may be a bug, but to me, it looks like a one of those uh, pupas, you know, like uh, for insects, like when they bury, you know, their, their their embryo, when their embryos are buried inside the pupa stage. Now, if you have Morgellons and you've had the sores. This may look familiar to you because um, what happens is these little pupas are, I don't know, little sacs like things are full of little, some kind of little embryos. And these get buried down inside your skin. And um, when the sores break out, if you pull, if you pull, if you open that sore, or you pull the scab off and you open the sore, you may see some of these little sacs buried down inside the sores. Now, they're full of nanotechnology. Um, I'm not gonna call them insects, I'm gonna call them nanotechnology because they're actually nano, <sighs> it's actually technology that's like, that's created to look like insects, so. It's not really insects, folks. This is this is this is a genetically modified organisms. Okay, now technology. But that I've seen this. I've seen these before. This picture. I've seen these. Thank God I don't have any more of these. Okay. And then in this picture right here, this is the so. This is a hole that's created when this uh, this nanotechnology comes out of your skin. It creates it creates a sore. Okay, and this is how if you do the if you do the detox, if you do the uh, external detox with Epsom salt or whatever, you may see some of these sores that look like this. Okay. When they break open and they release the nanotechnology, you're gonna see you may see some sores that look like this when the nanotechnology comes out of the skin. Um, I had lots of these. It's, uh, when I started doing the, uh, the detox, the, the external detox, my body was covered in these sores like this. So I had a lot of uh, nanotechnology that was coming out. Yeah, it's gross, but it's real, folks. And then let me see what he says. And, uh, third picture is where it came out on my left top chest. And the fourth picture is something else under my left nipple. Okay. Let's find that one. This was the picture where it came out of his chest. Let's find the one that nipple. Okay. And he says, this one where it looks like there's something under his left nipple. Okay. You can see where around the nipple it's like inflamed. And there's definitely some kind of nanotechnology or implant or something underneath this nipple that looks like, to me, like it might be getting ready to come out. 
Now, if he keeps up his detox, or he keeps using the dirt, he's going to get this. This is going to be pulled out of his skin, okay? And then it says, the last picture, look to the left, and, another, and you'll see a worm sticking out of my skin, okay? Let's look at the last picture. And now, I couldn't really make out the worm, but I'm going to show it to you and let you see for yourself. Now, there's, uh, there's a lot of, looks like blood and maybe some, uh, some dried biofilm in this picture. So it's kind of hard. It's going to be hard to see what he calls a worm. But actually, what he's calling a worm is actually nanotechnology protruding out of his skin. Okay. So that's the photos that he sent me just recently. And now he says, um, this is what washing or rubbing dirt on your skin will pull out. I was pulling weeds out of my blackberries and I got dirt on me. Okay. And then he got the, he's pulling weeds and his blackberries got dirt on him. And this is what came out in these photos. So folks, there are a lot of things, okay, there are a lot of things that you can use that will pull the morgellons out of the body, lots of things. But today I just wanted to talk about the dirt because this is what Ken used to get all this out. Now he says he used um, blackberries, the soil he had in his blackberries, and plus the, the, the clay soil around his property. So if you're going to try to use dirt, um, any kind of dirt will work, but I would recommend that you use the dirt out of your yard. I mean, just go right outside in your backyard and dig up some dirt in the ground and use the dirt that comes from underground, okay? Because Mother Earth, Mother Earth or Mother Nature is one, it's the best healer, okay? It's the best way to heal your body. All forms of Mother Nature. Not just getting out in the dirt and using and using that, but you can if you walk in the woods and you you sit under the trees, you can receive healing from the energy, from the natural energy of the planet. If you spend time in the woods and breathe in that raw air, you know, clean air. Also, if you get out in the sun, the sun, I can't tell you the times when I got sick with the flu and I got so sick I couldn't even get up out of bed, but I drag myself out of bed every time I got sick with the flu and I'd get out in the sun and I'd sit in the sun until I felt better. Every time it worked. The sun has the healing effects on the body, okay? You get sick, no matter what it is, getting out in the sun, getting out in nature, any kind of nature, going, going to the beach, Putting your feet in the sand, walking in the sand, getting in that ocean water, that salt water will heal your body. And even if you don't go to the beach, if you just go to your local creek right down the road and walk in the sand and get out in the water and lay out in the sun, that will heal your body. I'll tell you what, and if you're, wait, if you're just waiting around in the creek, if you'll reach, just reach down underneath the water and grab some of that sandy soil and rub it all over your body, it will heal your body. And I guarantee you, you'll see uh, the nanotechnology coming out of your body. Mother Nature is a natural healer, okay? We've got to get back to Mother Nature. We have lost touch with our roots, folks. We've got to get back to nature. And dirt is one of the ways that we can do that, okay? All right, now I want to share something else that Ken wrote because I think it's important that people know, know this stuff. And then he says, so basically I was potting a bunch of my plants, a garden and a 15-gallon cloth pot. Of course I got some soil on me, but at the very end I just rubbed the potting soil all over my body and it pulled out all types of more gallons. Basically, every hair follicle and in the fatty layers of my skin contains all kind of critters that came out. He said, I also have a type that attaches to my veins, and they pierce the veins similar to a tick, except it's under the skin, and the head actually breaks through the skin and feels like a sticker. Okay, if you're having trouble with your veins, if you're having like varicose veins or any kind of protruding veins, 
possibility you got the more the uh the nanotechnology in your veins okay you can pull them out of the veins too the same way you do the rest you just have to make sure that you concentrate in the area that's affected okay uh, then he says now he said i also had shingles earlier this year you may not know how painful that is i do but it has caused peripheral neuropathy and now you guys know what that is that's where you're you're, you're, you get numbness in your feet and your legs, and you, you just don't have any feeling in it. Okay. Like neuropathy that you get from diabetes in your feet and lower legs, except mine is all over the body and extremely, pain, extremely painful. And then he says on another note, 5G, and he's talking about 5G, so we're getting off on another subject here. But 5G, folks, for those of you who don't know, okay, the frequencies... It's not just the 5G frequencies. It's the frequencies that are pulsing inside your homes. But the 5G is more powerful. Okay, So the 5G frequency, if you get around it and your body's full of the nanotechnology, you can get sick. Okay, It can kill you. So what he's saying is the 5G frequency exasperates the Morgellons. And as you know, they activated the 5G just about the same time that... COVID began. This is true. And we're not going to get off on that because YouTube don't like me talking about COVID. So if I start getting into that, they're going to remove this video. So I'm not going to get into that. I'm just reading what Ken said. Okay. So if I get close to a big city with the 5G towers all over the place, my Morgellons goes into hyperdrive and multiplies like crazy. It's the frequency of 5G that does it, and COVID, and the frequency of 5G that causes COVID, is what he's saying. Okay, now it's very odd that my wife shows no signs of Morgellons, but my youngest son definitely does. He will not accept that that is what he has, and of course, most people think you're crazy if you even talk or mention the word Morgellons. But he has developed his own therapy and treatments for the itchies. So, this just goes to show that Morgellons is not contagious, okay? No, Morgellons is where the body gets triggered. The body gets triggered and it starts pushing out the nanotechnology or it starts pushing out the enemy that's within your body, okay? That's what Morgellons does. And there's lots of things, like I said, lots of things you can do to help the Morgellons remove and push out the nanotechnology, okay? The Morgellons gets it started because when you get the sting and itch and the crawling, that's the Morgellons pushing out the nanotechnology. It's rejecting it. It's pushing it out of the body. So he thinks it's all that his wife don't have it. Well, it, it's, it's all about your physical makeup, okay? It depends on whether the nanobots have been triggered in your body or not. Uh, it's possible that later on his wife could get Morgellons, and then she may not. Some people don't get it. Some people's body just receives this nanotechnology. They, uh, they, they integrate it with no problems. And, they don't, and these are the ones who don't know, okay? The people that don't get Morgellons, they don't know that there's any kind of intruder in their body. They don't know. They may get sick with cancer or heart attack. They won't know what to do. They won't know to start removing it, okay? When you get more gallons, you know there's something there. And you start, you start getting busy to help it. You have to. You have to get to work to help the more gallons remove the nanotechnology. Otherwise, you're going to remain tortured 24-7. You'll get it. When you get it, when you get more gallons, you're going to do something. You're going to be forced to. Where the people who don't get Morgana, they don't know. They don't know anything's there to remove. This is why we make these videos. That's why we're trying to get this information out there. So even though his wife don't have Morgellons yet, she may get it eventually. Or if she don't, she may get sick with something else and stay permanently sick. Unless she starts right now waking up and starts detoxing 
internally and externally, then she could she could be safe. Okay. He says, I take Epsom salt baths every two to three days. The more gallons is releasing so many toxins in my body that I can tell very easily when they get high. When they get so high, my body just simply cannot keep up. Not to mention that they eat, breathe, and poop in your body. And they also contain viruses, bacteria, heavy metals inside of them. So the best way to get rid of them is to coax them out. Yeah. By using dirt. This is what we're talking about today. And Morgellons gel. Ken invented them. Ken is the inventor of the Morgellons gel. And if you want to know how to make or mix up the Morgellons gel, I got a video on it. It's called Ken's Morgellons gel. Go to that video and you'll find the recipe for Morgellons gel. And many other things do take them out. For example, pickle juice. But the Morgellons gel, okay, this is important. The Morgellons gel pulls out a different type. Okay, what he's saying is, it's depending on which product you're using, it's going to pull out a different type of the nanotechnology. It says, Morgellons gel pulls out a, a number of different types of the nanobots, uh, and then the dirt pulls out different types of nanobots. So, depending on what kind of treatment you use, um, that's going to determine what kind of nanobots come out. And he's saying you have to do all three. You have to play in the dirt, shower with the Morgellons gel, and take the Epsom salt baths and anything else that works that you can come up with. And diet. You have to eat a very healthy diet or you're a goner. Okay. So, and then the rest of these pages that he sent me, I'm going to just kind of put them up here. And I'm going to let you guys read them if you're interested. I'm just going to hold it in front of the screen and you can see it. Uh, and just let y'all read what he's written here about the Morgellons. I hope y'all can see that. The wind's blowing, so I'm going to try to hold it up here the best I can. Hold on, brighten it up here.
And then, uh, I think this is the last page. Yeah, um, let me make sure that's the last one. Yeah, that's the last thing. Okay, so basically, you guys, nature. Don't neglect getting out in nature. This is probably one of the most important new, new goals we can make right now as far as getting on the track, getting on track from making our bodies clean and purified and healthy again, okay? Get out in nature. I don't care if you don't have but five minutes that you can devote to getting out in nature. If you can just get out in the sunshine for five minutes a day or if you can just take off your shoes and walk around in the grass, if you can go to the creek and walk around in the sand or the beach and put your feet in the sand, you know, get in the salt water. Salt water pulls out the toxins and the deadly chemicals. And I can hear the, uh, the weapons, the energy weapons have come out. And they just put up, a, a, my power company just put up a new, some kind of new, box on my power pole for for this so-called uh, fiber optic internet and ever since they put it up there's been a lot more activity as for, uh, or not more noise is coming from the uh, energy weapons around that box so it's tied into it somehow but yeah so the energy weapons are out Y'all know what that is? Okay, so they're beaming me. They're beaming me right now. I do have my bubble foil on the inside of my cap to protect my head, but I don't have my earplugs in. So it's a possibility that I could get, I could be getting some nausea and dizziness later on from this these frequencies. Okay, so, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, Dirt, get out in the dirt. Um, or just go out in your backyard, dig up a bunch of your dirt in the backyard, and take you a mud bath, okay? I take mud baths in the summertime. I don't do them as much as I used to. I don't do them in the wintertime because I want to make sure I'm outside when I got all this mud on me. Uh, but you can. You can take the mud. You can take some mud and create your own product your own treatment with it. You can take some dirt and you can add some organic products to the dirt and make your own body scrub, okay? Yeah, you can do that. You put the dirt in there and then you can add some Epsom salt in there or you can put some Diametrous Earth in there. You can put some organic shampoo like tea tree oil in there. You can put essential oils in there. Make your own body scrub if you can't get out in the yard. And who knows, you may come up with something really special. Uh, I'm going to go for now. I uh, hope this helps somebody. And we want to thank Ken for sharing this with us. Okay. Thank you, Ken. We love you. Uh, and I'm hearing the weapons getting closer, so I'm going to go for now. That's all. Stay strong. Stay heart-centered. Stay in love.